so in this particular question uh, charlie plan to invest in a retirement plan of 30 years so this is 30 years given in this plan he will be deposit he will deposit 1000 british pound at the end of every month okay i'm just highlighting similarly you can underline the thing in your worksheet so 6.5 percentage interest and compounding is happening monthly so very very important points which are mentioned so we will start filling the details since compounding is happening monthly so cpy will be what will be cpy 12 12 well very good because there are 12 months okay compounding is happening monthly so let me just so i'm just erasing this thing that it is done interest rate is 6.5 i guess that is the easiest of all let us fill that thing 6.5 percentage okay so this is also done and there is one more word given end so we will put over here end so time so over here write uh, monthly okay compounding is happening monthly and this 1000 rupees is being paid monthly yearly one time what is it he will deposit 1000 uh, once a month once a month that means it is recurring no it is every month yeah. so where where it will come tell me where it will come present value pmt or fv where it should come a uh, pmt pmt so plus or minus minus because it is investing deposit because i am investing so it is minus 1000 so what is present value is there zero. anything in the bank no so it is zero now future value we have to we have to calculate this value yes or no we have to yeah. calculate this value now these two are the very very important thing what should be n what should be ppy so over here this payment is happening monthly yes or no yeah so ppy tells us number of payments in a year number of payments that in is a year. year understood so number of payments in a year is 12 so basically this is in months yes or no yeah but time it is given in 30 years okay so unit should be same remember unit should be same so it should not be 30 years it should be 30 into 12 360 is this thing clear so what yes, i'm sir. trying to say please uh, listen to this thing very carefully n is number of payments in total number of payments in total and pmt is number of payments in a year please try to understand these two are connected okay in a year how many payments are we making there we are making 12 payments so that's why i'm going to multiply by 12 so 360 payments okay okay now please use your gdc and tell me what is the phase uh, future value quickly uh, one one zero six one very good one one zero six one seven, seven eight eight point zero nine. zero nine okay but so the question was asking find the future value of the investment at the end of 30 years give your answer is nearest pound remember this thing nearest pound mm -hmm. that means we have to round off okay 
that means we need to round off so at the end make sure you write therefore future value will be so what will be the nearest pound answer 1106178 that's it and don't forget to write your unit is this thing clear yeah any doubt no sir so take some time and do the second part also so in the b part after 30 period 30 year period uh, charles will start receiving regular monthly installment of 1500 british pounds okay calculate the number of years it will take charles charles monthly retirement payment to match the total amount originally invested so first of all total amount invested so how much he has invested he has invested 1000 every month for 360 months so he has invested 360 thousand that much amount he has invested is that thing clear yes sir now he is getting 1500 so 1500 every month he is getting so i don't know how many months he will be getting it for number of months yes or no and the total amount we are thinking that how much time it will take to match the this investment simple yeah so if i divide these two and he is getting per month so this will give me the months okay so divide quickly number of months equals to 364 zeros by 1500 quickly divide tell me the answer 1500 times 2 is 30 and 6 is 4 240 months okay so it will take 240 months so we will convert this into years so to convert into years we'll divide by 12 so that means 20, 20. years okay logic is clear okay. i hope the language is clear for this particular question quickly copy mm -hmm. and do the next question of the worksheet 